Wait, this is being recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Spencer. I know I agreed to I consented to all of the everything I do I'm following the conduct code but I didn't know that the, I thought this was like a you know informal hangout and now here we go now I got it I guess you change out of my hoodie and I, I know and listen I feel the same way I would have kind of spruced up a little bit. yeah <laughs> my god well I mean we can always uh <laughs> Haley to stop the recording, but I think we'll be okay. So welcome everybody. Welcome to the Thursday. I mean, Wednesday, gosh, I'm the second time the Wednesday late show. We've got one more. We'll do this again on Thursday. So I hope- Blur's you. day. <laughs> Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow, Thursday, but today it's Wednesday. So we just have to make it through this one. <laughs> so uh, we have a, another uh, late breaking news announcement tonight. Yeah, congratulations to uh, Raya and Emma who won our trivia contest. Yay. Woo! Officially the smartest people at the conference. Congratulations. <laughs> and Amazing. I don't know what your prize is, but congratulations. <laughs> yes, organized by Tina and Amelia. Thank you, Tina and Amelia. And Raya won a the- T-shirt. Nicole says it's a T-shirt. Very good. And Raya won the taco competition. <laughs> <laughs> so Dang. you're on nice. a roll. On a roll. On fire. Okay. Um, let's see. So we will be using Menti tonight. So um, it, everyone who wants to participate that way can go to menti.com and enter the code that's at the top of the screen for some of the fun voting. I do want to go through introductions first. So hi, I'm Emily Reagan. I'm hosting our late show. I'm at Metropolitan State University of Denver and also have served on the steering committee for Open Ed 20. So this is my fun little contribution to the conference. And I have a lovely co-host, Haley. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Haley Bab. I'm uh, one of the open education coordinators for Sparks Open Education Team. And I've been working uh, on the conference organizing team. I'm based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So nice to... Nice to be here with you all tonight. And I have three lovely guests. So first, Bob, would you be willing to introduce yourself? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Bob Awkward. Yes, this is just the way it's spelled on the screen is my last name and no, I'm not. So I'll take care of that. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the, in, the, in the lovely state in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. I'm at the Department of Higher Education. I'm the OER coordinator for the, for our public institutions, and I uh, was on the program committee. And I'm here hanging out with this crew and all of you. Awesome, thank you, Bob. And then next up is Spencer. Hey everybody, my name's Spencer and I'm from the Commonwealth of Colorado. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we're Commonwealth, are we? There are only three. There's only three. <laughs> Ooh, that's a trivia question for tomorrow. Raya, Actually, I'm no sorry. cheating. One, two, three, four. There's four Commonwealths. There's four Commonwealths. Maybe we can determine what those are by the end of the session. <laughs> um, I have a similar job to Bob. Actually, we one time we were at a conference and Bob and I sat down and we started speaking the same kind of language and we were like wait a minute we kind of got the same job yeah <laughs> so I, I work at the department of higher ed in colorado and i'm happy to be here with y'all thanks for letting me join fantastic and last but not least we have jonathan hi i'm the only one who got the sartorial notification we're supposed to wear a gray shirt and a, and a red scarf um apparently the morning session was all in uniform and so this is uh my attempt. Anyway, I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Jonathan Ports. I'm in the math department at uh, Colorado State University Pueblos. There's a bunch of Coloradans. I'm, I think, the farthest south in Colorado of this group of people. Um, but, and I'm also the OER coordinator on the state, at Colorado State University Pueblo. And I've been on helping in a very minor role. I don't know what the name of the team I was on was, pro, uh, program team or something. Anyway, um, but I've got to, to do some volunteer work with the got to host a session several times so far. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, you've been very helpful, Jonathan. Yeah, you and Bob both were on the program team. And yeah, that was, I really appreciate it. And you guys have been working as session hosts and doing lots of cool things. Okay, so 
we have some chances for audience participation here. Um, so hopefully you've been able to get into Menti or you can hop on using that code there at the top. So how is your conference experience going? And uh, <laughs> thank you to Nicole for um, letting me adapt these fun slides that had been used previously at some of the community meetings that some of you may have attended. Um, do I need to do something to display? There we go. Ah. There we go. Greenful, yes, I know that's right. <laughs> And we like the corgis. Fast pace, yes. <laughs> the avalanche is going to catch up with us. And Bob loves that cat right there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> now I like Elmo. Yeah. That's what I picked. Da -da 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 Elmo's world. <laughs> oh, man, that's a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that uh, guy with the exploding brain? Is that somebody famous? Isn't that Alan Rickman? <laughs> it was Alan Rickman. I honestly don't know. So uh, anyone else want to chime in as to who? I'm Googling it. OK, fantastic. Who is fantastic. it? It's, Google will let us know. Oh, OK. <laughs> Google's on the case. I will report back. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to move on. Um, this is kind of a more even distribution, I think, than we've seen. I mean, I haven't asked this exact question before, but we're, we're in a lot of different places is what I'm getting from this. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Okay. I'm going to advance our little slide. So now you have a chance to enter a single word, although you can do it multiple times. So if you have multiple words, you just cannot um, help but share. You, that's available to you. And we'll see if I need to. There we go. There we go. Busy. Yes. <laughs> Adult switch sketch comedy series. <laughs> Uplifting, distracted, welcoming, pondering. I like the thoughtful that's misspelled. I think <laughs> that's that's me typing. <laughs> and that wasn't literally me, but it could have been me. Fun. Ooh, fun is big. I like fun that. Fun is big. Multiple people voted for fun. That's awesome. Yeah, it's holding. <laughs> All right, this is Kathy. I'm down on one screen, but if someone could type in amazed into the MIT oh, so that amazed. that's at least captured. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Uh, someone can do that. Who there we go. here? Amazed. Oh, now it's now it's now we've all done it. <laughs> trending. Oh, I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's super fun. <laughs> yeah. Crowdsource. I guess. I'm totally amazed. It's beautiful. Okay, well, thank you all. Coffee. Yes, coffee. <laughs> um, okay, and then finally, kind of our free response part. Uh, so, what is a highlight? Was something, and it can be from today, it can be from earlier in the conference, if that's what's really sticking with you in this moment. You know, make this what you want. Honestly, if you saw something amazing that you think other people need to go back and see, everything's being recorded, right? So this is a great chance to, um, you know, let us know what we need to go back and watch if we missed it. Ooh, Discord and the plenary sessions. Mm -hmm. I know, I have really, really been enjoying the plenary sessions. Every single day, they're awesome in their own way. Among Us, I missed Among Us. Oh, we need an update from that. Oh. Uh... That's great, Nicole. Yeah, my favorite part of the day was Nicole's mom <laughs> coming to the session. <laughs> oh. That was so cute. Yeah, Among Us is in here multiple times. A more interactive stat book. Oh yeah, the Miha keynote, absolutely. Okay, I missed Nicole's mom coming. What was that? <laughs> she just came to watch uh, one of her presentations and it was very wholesome. That is beautiful. 
I miss that too. That's fantastic. It was wholesome. It was very, it was very nice. Like heartwarming. The science is not my thing session is amazing. So nice. That's one I want to go catch up with. But did it make you more or less nervous, Nicole, to have your mom come to your session? Why did I mention this? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was it was really nice. And and I was just thinking about it. Like my mom has never seen me present before. And you know, in all of the years and all of the places and all of the conferences. Yep. But because this was virtual, it was, you know, possible. I and was I thinking that. She yeah, one of the ways. You. Yeah. Like, what is it that my daughter does at these things? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, getting connected with people. Open pad incubator. That science is not my thing has popped up a lot in the Maha keynote. Yes. Well, so anyone else? Um, See if there's anything new coming in at the end, and then we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna move forward. And um, the picture I found for today is <laughs> is open to interpretation. Um, Jonathan's first thought was we hit the wall, but I'm really like it, these are people that are like kind of curious and listening, and I don't know it. I just ran across it and I thought it was a fun photo. So this is supposed to help us generate some discussion. <laughs> and um, my, my crew is, is ready to just kind of uh, free form some conversation here. Oh man, I wanna yes. know Read a room uh, what the inspiration is behind, behind this art. I like that. <laughs> We, we started going down a rabbit hole trying to find out where this sculpture came from. And it wasn't a very deep rabbit hole. <laughs> so we, we kind of like, Jonathan did a fancy uh, image search that we ran into a website that we couldn't understand, 404 error. And then we talk, started talking about something else. I think we all have really short attention spans. Well, I know I do, at least yeah. <laughs> speak for myself. No, I think you said we found it was in Indonesia. I'm not sure where yet, but. Yeah, it seemed to be, I did a reverse Google image search and it seemed like the, on Google image, it seemed to come up from uh, so, some sub website that, I mean, I've seen a lot of Indonesian recently. I had, a, there was a person who was in the creative, I, I'm a facilitator for the Creative Commons uh, certificate course. And there've been lots of people who come to it from other countries and we let them submit lots of things in their own countries, in their own home, native language. And so I've been doing a lot of Google Translate of long essays written in Indonesian and then to try to grade them or, or give feedback. And uh, so I've seen a lot of Indonesian lately. So it looked like this is an Indonesian website. Uh, I'm gonna quit sharing just because I think this has provoked our, <laughs> got the wheels turning. And now we can um, just kind of chat with each other. So like Jonathan, what, what do you tell people about the Creative Commons class? Like if people are like, should I take it? Should I not? What is it? What, do you have a, an elevator pitch or something for it? Oh, good. And, and now I'm going to follow on to him too. <laughs> I, you know, I, I um, it's funny. I just got into a, a, a little bit of trouble on Twitter because a mathematician I know posted a link to a book. He said, it's a great free book on a very complicated mathematical thing. And I looked and I followed the link and it was a, it looked like a, one of those PDFs that someone scanned an entire book and just posted on the net. It had a copyright statement on the second page that said copyright some name 1977. And I said, I replied, I couldn't believe that this man had just posted something which is quite illegal to do, you know, making a public trend, you know, publicly distributing a copy of copyrighted material is really not kosher. And so I tweeted back to him, I actually know this guy. And I said, what do, you, what do you mean by free? And I was hoping he would say, oh, it's actually been released with a Creative Commons license more recently. And so he never replied, by which I take it that he hadn't thought about this and was embarrassed to have posted a link to an illegal copy. So I feel like the Creative Commons course is, is to me, it's, it's like 
if you were a doctor, you'd learn something about medical malpractice law. You know, I'm an academic. Everything I do is writing and reading and my students write. And we need to know about these rules for, um, you know, what, is, what we're allowed to share. And the rules, unfortunately, are pretty restrictive and just in the bare copyright law. And, um, but there's this nice hack that comes from around 2000 of Creative Commons licenses. And so I feel like it's a tool that makes us twist intellectual property law to be more in use, more useful to the academics, the educational worlds and many other worlds too, but I know academia better than others. And so I think it's a great thing to do. Um, my wife sort of yelled at me. She said, you're assuming everyone knows all this Creative Commons stuff and um, you should have just kept your mouth shut and let this guy post this illegal copy of that book. Um, and uh, Anyway, I think it's a great course. And the, the other great thing about the Creative Commons world is it's a little bit like the open ed community. It's, it's a very collaborative, supportive group. People can share insights and communications. And I think someone, some, there've been some great presentations in open ed about diversity of viewpoints makes it richer, makes us better understanding each other, understanding our students and um, see solutions that someone else has dreamt up in Indonesia to the problem of getting through a brick wall or, or you know, and I think it, so the Creative Commons is also a very global community, just like the open education community. It's nice to meet these people. And I, I now have friends I regularly correspond with on seven, no, six continents um, that uh, I've met through the Creative Commons world. So that's not an elevator pitch, but unless we're going up a long distance. <laughs> um. And then Bob, you wanted to chime in. Well, only because uh, the, the yuck and all of this, and I just saw another connection point here on the screen is that I just took this course with Jonathan this summer and so did Sarah. Um, you know, I wondered why your name was so familiar when, when, I, when I saw you at the uh, um, plenary session on Monday. It's like, that's why. Um, so I am gonna make the elevator pitch for, or, or make the pitch for the program. It is excellent, it is excellent. You know, I, um, one, of my, one of my folks here in Massachusetts, uh, uh, does presentations and he usually does a part of the presentation on the, on the um, legal piece, et cetera. And I've always was impressed with like, how does he know this stuff? And then I took the creative commons course and now I know how he know that stuff. And if you want to know that stuff, you need to take that course because you really get exposed to the, you know, the whole, the, you know, you get to go behind the scenes and understand the underpinnings that supports all of this work that we do. So um, but I, I, let me caution you, it is a lot of work. I'm not going to say it's not, it is a lot of work. And I think Sarah, where's Sarah? And she just moved. Um, she would agree. It's, it's good because that's why you learn, but it, it is a lot of work. But when you get to the end of the line, it's like, wow, wow. There's all the stuff I never knew. <laughs> but I mean, Jonathan's I point, you need to know this if you're in this space. Um, let's see, the link to the Creative Commons stuff or the link to the, there we go. Um, okay, so how many people here have taken the Creative Commons course? I'm actually taking it right now. Are you? Yeah, so I haven't completed it, but I'm. I have a question. I'm sorry, I'm late to this. Um, I, I'm tr I, I don't know how to do it because I don't know anybody to, to sponsor or vouch for me to oh, even to, to do that part and I said I don't know anybody I try to look for anybody how do I go past that so that's for joining the the um global commons or what is that called Jonathan right. help us out with that part. yeah it's called the the global network and you need to have two people who are in the network to vouch for you but um yeah, I usually just sort of vouch for anybody who asked me, but they yelled at me for doing that. So I guess you should find someone you actually know. I, I, I looked through all of them and I there wasn't anybody. I mean, that's kind of sad that I couldn't find anyone that yeah. has gone through that. And this is my exploration to, I think, for OER. And I'm, I'm really excited about this process. And I saw about the... The Creative Commons certificate, it's $500, but I think it's really worth it. It, it um, definitely worth it. And I saw there might be a scholarship with it. And I said, oh, OK, well, they give, um, they wrote in that there is a, 
a part of it where you, if you were a Creative Commons um, global network, then they'll give, you know, more. Oh, is it of, necessary uh, to be in the network to get one of the scholarships? Yes. Oh, well, that's not. Interesting. They'll give. They'll give more of um. Of of a, of a shot for those yeah. who are in it, and so that led me to the network, and then I was like, yeah. "There's nobody yeah. in the network I yeah. know." Are you located in the U.S.? In San Antonio, Texas, San Antonio yeah, College, okay. and we're I, just exploring OER like that. Yeah, I, a lot of the country chapters of the Creative Commons will sponsor some of the people in the in their country chapter, but I think the U.S. country chapter is a little bit non-existent because I'm going to do this kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the emoji of well, someone you know. pointed out it someone pointed out in the chat that the, all the material being the creative commons all the materials for the course are publicly released with a cc by license so if you wanted to sort of self-educate you can go through those materials um and you don't get with this sort of official certificate at the end of that process but you could get all the knowledge yourself by going through it um you know another is, thing you could try yeah. is there's a there's a slack there's a big slack um, and it has a lot of different groups that are that are interested in different things. So if you go get involved and maybe meet a couple of people who are interested in those same uh, topics that you're interested in, um, then you might might be able to work it that way. And it, it's open for anyone to join that Slack for for Creative Commons Global. I hate to interrupt, folks. We only have about two minutes left, uh, and I and I <laughs> I know that went by so fast. <laughs> I lost track of the time as well, um, but I want to make sure that we touch on some of the, the highlights that we have for the next day before we go so everybody oh, all right, has the right. same information. Um, so up next, we've got a couple of things coming up both tomorrow and Friday. On Thursday, we have um, a fantastic plenary session planned. So that's going to be applications of open education and social justice, inclusion and anti-racism. Um, so be sure to attend that um, from 4 to 425 Eastern. Mm -hmm. um should be yeah nicole says seriously go to this i'm really really excited I, it looks I, like I it's gonna be fantastic <laughs> <my stage. laughs> perfect and then as usual we have a few more sort of like asynchronous talks and content available if you're if you're still needing more tonight and you want a little bit uh more to go through uh there's too many on there for you to be able to watch every single one i mean unless you're really committed good for you um, but of the ones that you do watch, um, be sure to vote for your top three favorites. Um, we have a little feature to be able to do that uh, at, under the 2020 tab on our website. And the, the link to do that is right below here too. And then I think we have a couple more just like just for fun sessions coming up tomorrow. So we have uh, the V connecting going on at tea time from 1.30 to 1.55. This is all in uh, Eastern time. Uh, as well as yoga again tomorrow. So uh, if you missed it the first time, there was a lot of hype. <laughs> Definitely uh, try to come tomorrow. Um, is that it or? Oh yeah, oh oh my gosh, how could I forget? And uh, Kara OER key. Um, so that's gonna be tomorrow at uh, 7.30 Eastern. And that is going to be the, the must attend uh, event of the conference. Uh, <laughs> so definitely uh, encourage you all to, to come join us and, and have some fun. Yeah, that's going to be right after our last late show. And um, we're going to be doing wine tasting with Nicole Allen and Daniel Williamson tomorrow. And um, so <laughs> we're that's going to be awesome. So you can come bring your own wine. We'll do wine tasting and then you can go do your Kara Oyaroki. <laughs> <laughs> Does, does Sarah have her hand up? I'm thinking some people's hands are still up from when I asked about the Creative oh. Commons. Um, but yeah, it, this is like our last moment together. <laughs> but uh, come back tomorrow for the early show with Amy Tan. And I know they're having a lot of fun with that. Um, Amy, you saw how Jonathan and I matched. Did you, did you say that? Or did you take off your <laughs> scarf, Jonathan? <laughs> Yeah. Part, but I'm just saying there were four of us and we were all <laughs> red. <laughs> you all look very yeah. nice. Very nice. <laughs> well, thank you all for joining us. I hope you had another fun and full day at the conference. Like you can see, tomorrow's going to be another fantastic day and we look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks, Emily. Oh, 